Hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic and I am here to show you how to make this awesome sauce, adjustable apron. Look, it's got a tie back. It legit will take you 20 minutes to make. Let me see if I can untie it. It's got a tie, it's adjustable. Look at this, super fun. And this is going to be an awesome project for the summer, for barbecuing, for cooking, for gifts, for all of the above. And I cannot wait to show y'all how to make this. So if that's what you're here for, before we get into the content, anytime you're enjoying it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let's have some fun making this apron, folks. So now we are ready to construct this adjustable 20 minute apron. What you will need, you'll need your main fabric. And the size of this fabric is 26 by 42. The way that I cut it was I folded it here, folded it here, make sure the creases are correct, and then just slice it to where it's gonna be 21 by 13, and then you can unfold it. So that's this one. Then I have this pattern designed to where you can then use a half yard cut if you wanted to, but I wanted this on my pocket. So this is, what's the size of this one? This one is a nine by 18 inch rectangle that's gonna be for the pocket. And then I have three width of fabric strips with a complementary solid since I didn't have more of this that I'm gonna use for the strap. So I'm gonna put this away put this away for now and we're gonna deal with the body. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love Wonder Tape. I'm going to use this to create a quarter inch seam, fold it over on the sides and the top. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that next. So now I am here with this main piece of fabric. This is one of the sides. This is the top or the bottom. And I'm going to use the same exact process for all four of the sides, but I'm going to do the two sides first and then the top and the bottom in that order. It'll just be cleaner. So what I'm going to do is use this Wonder Tape right here. I'm putting it on the right side of the fabric. See, the wrong is over here. So this is the right side of the fabric, lining it up as flush to the edge as I can. And then from here, I'm going to fold it over right here on the lip. Try and make it as precise on the edge as possible. And with some light heat, I'm going to heat set this in place. That's heat setting the crease and it's heat setting the Wonder Tape at the same time. And then now I'm going to flip it over like so. And then I'll remove this. And then because of the heat setting, this should be tacky enough to where it's going to stay like this. And then I am going to eyeball at first a half inch and then use a ruler. As I press it to make sure that it's a half inch. All the way along and the Wonder Tape will set it. And you can do all of this with clips or pins if you want to. I just prefer Wonder Tape. It makes it easier once I get to the sewing machine. So use this, make sure that it's half of an inch. And then once this is set, I'm gonna heat set it again with my iron, just to make sure that it's all in place. And this is going to eliminate any gumminess when you take it to your machine, let this cool. And then now I'm gonna take it over to Felicia and show you how I edge stitch this to create the top stitch in the front. So I've stitched up the sides and now I've prepped the bottom and the top and I've left the bottom for you. I just wanted to show you what this looked like, see? I did the same thing with the bottom, but this is going to keep create a clean bottom hem. And now I'm going to edge stitch. Anytime I have this kind of a seam, I always stitch from the back. So make sure the same color thread is on the bobbin and the top stitch. And I'm going to stitch a couple stitches 
And then I'm gonna back stitch. If you've never sewn apparel or anything where you need this kind of a seam, almost every single seam in this needs to be back stitched on the beginning of the end. So now I am just edge stitching along the edge. And why I do it this way is that there have been times where I've done it from the front and I've missed catching this sometimes. So I've just found that this allows me to make sure to catch every little bit of what's going on in the back. And then it more than not will create an even stitch line on the front. So let me get to the end here. I'm getting towards the end, so now I'm going to back stitch again. One, two, three, and then continue. Boom. And just for simplicity's sake, every time you have to stitch on this apron, just go ahead and back stitch the beginning and the end. So ta da ta da! See? Can you see it? I need the light. Boom! Light! Ooh, yeah, this looks good. So now I'm going to take this back over to my cutting mat and show you how I use math to create the armholes. Boop, boop. So now I've come over here with this, which could be like a blanket if you want to just call it a day and put it on something, then you're finished. But if you want an apron, then you're going to take the two top corners and line them up as so right here along the fold, line them up, make sure that it's even right here and grab a ruler right here. And it's gonna be six inches across and 16 inches down like this. Let me just double check. Yes, yeah, so now you'll need a pen and you'll mark here. This is the six inch mark. So six inches this way. 16 inches this way. So now that I have these before you cut, if you wanted to, you could just, you could draw a line. Let me just do that. So, cause I know some of y'all are gonna be nervous. So you just draw a line here and that's gonna be your cut line on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I've got my trusty, what's this called? Rotary cutter. And I'm just gonna cut it and it's cutting through both sides. And then this, you can just do whatever you want. I just found creating all of the seams at first made it a lot easier to explain. And now what I'm going to do with this, it's going to be the same maneuver as these, except instead of going a quarter inch or a half inch down, I'm going to do three quarters of an inch over. So I'm gonna do the quarter inch. I'm just gonna show you right here. It's gonna be a quarter inch here. And then once it flips over, it's going to be three quarter of an inch right here. And I will show you this whenever I get to my sewing. Okay, so now this is what this edge will look like. And now I'm going to stitch starting here, back stitching all the way to here, and then back stitch there. Do not stitch here and do not stitch here because that's where the straps are gonna go through and it'll make it adjustable. So I will take this over to my sewing machine and do both of the sides. I don't think y'all need to see that in real time. Then I'll come back and we will put the pocket on there. So I'm gonna go through a couple steps kind of quickly here. If you need a slow down explanation of any of this, there's a step out tutorial of this project on Brothers Stitching Social. There will be a link in the description here. But to attach the pocket, now that I have all of this sewn up, you can see the stitches here, here. I folded this in half the long way, and I'm going to use this crease as where I'm going to place the pocket. You kind of want the pockets to be where your hands are easily going to fit into them when creating an apron, and not so high to where stuff like falls out on whatever you're cooking. So I've done this. I'll flip this over, create this crease, and put this here, like this. And then here's the pocket right here. The top I've gone ahead and done, and I've created a quarter inch hem here with the fold over technique on the other things. And then I put wonder tape on 
the border right here. And what I'm going to do is remove the wonder tape, flip it over, and then attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set this and then come back and explain to you the process of attaching it. So I have folded this over. I haven't removed the tape yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And I am going to try and be slick and set everything at the same time. It should be fine because I let this cool and I'm not putting it on hot. I'm removing the tape, removing the tape, removing the tape. And you can pre-measure this if you want to, but I'm gonna show y'all how I do it, <laughs> which is this way. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over like so. And I'm gonna line the top edge up with this crease, right? And then once I do that, I just need to make sure that those are the same. So what is this? This is three and a quarter. This is a little bit less. So then move this over. And if you wanted to use those three and a quarter over, I do believe I have the exact measurements in the step out tutorial too, but it might vary just depending on your folds and how you sew and if your cut of fabric is exact. So now this is set, boom, it's not going, but I'm gonna heat set this with my iron, and then I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and edge stitch this in place, back stitching at the beginning and the end. And I'll do this off camera and come back with it done. Okay, JK, JK, I actually had some things I needed to show you on here. So this pocket, if you wanted to keep it big and flappy, go for it. But for the most part, you're gonna to wanna to create sections. So what I've done is just to make it easy. So four inches on either side. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna draw a line. One, two, three, four. This is an erasable friction pen. And I'll do the same thing here. One, two, three, four. There, and then if you wanted to put another line here, like in the center, go for it. But I'm gonna keep it open because who knows what I need to stick in there. But now I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and stitch on this. I don't need to show you the edge stitch necessarily, but I wanna show you how I do this cleanly. Okay, now I'm here, and since I'm here, let me just go ahead and show you how I do the pocket, so I'm gonna stitch just a little bit, and I am edge stitching. One, two, three. And since it's the parallel, I'm gonna back stitch. One, two, and then boom. Right here, edge stitch, edge stitch, edge stitch. Yay for one two. And then in case you're a beginner and haven't done this before, when you get to the corner before you go over, leave the needle down and pivot like that. And then just continue and stitch all the way. Now I'm to the end and what do we do, Helena? Backstitch. Backstitch. <laughs> Show you how I go up one of these lines. And don't worry, after we stitch these with an iron, they will be removed. So I'll go right here, I'll stitch a little bit, and then what do I do? Um, back stitch. Back stitch! <laughs> <laughs> and then now stitch on that line. to the end. What do I do at the end? Front stitch? No. What? Back stitch. Back <laughs> <laughs> I do think we should make up something called a front stitch. I think that's just the regular stitch though. Okay. Uh, Boom. Yeah. Me too. Okay, so now see? Look at the stitching. Now with uh, 
iron it'll go away the pockets on the next thing to do is to do the straps and so now the next thing to do is to sew up the three strips and instead of just grabbing it and going right sides together and creating an even strip i'm going to sew them the same way that i do binding it's just a stronger stitch in the end so i folded them on like this see let me do it again this is the right side so it's right sides together and I'm just gonna line it up here. If they're salvaged, don't worry about it. It's going to be hidden on the inside of the folded strip when I do it. And I like to live life on the edge, so I'm not gonna draw a diagonal, but I'm going on the diagonal. If you don't like to be so risky, <laughs> go ahead and draw it before you. Ta -da -ta -ta -da. So now, see, boom. I'm gonna take some fabric scissors and trim it, leaving about a quarter of an inch. Like that, boom. And now it's going to open like this. So do that with both strips, and now I'm gonna to go to my pressing mat and show you how I prepare it. I'm recording now, okay? Mm -hmm. So now here's the strips. I'm just going to let this go to the side whenever I get there, so I'm not gonna press it open or anything. And essentially what I'm going to be doing here is folding these towards the center. If you wanted to, you could fold a line and then fold a line, but I'm just gonna estimate and go like this. So if it's off, it's fine, it's not a big deal. So here, I'm going to press this. And it's just like I'm preparing strips. It's then told it in. like this. So that's one half of it, and then I'm gonna fold it over like this. And prepare this. And then, boop, 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 boop. Take this over to my sewing machine, and I'm gonna edge stitch right here on where the fold is. If you want to, just for continuity, you can go up, up and then around, but I'm not worried about that, so I'm just gonna go up right here bring this back. I'm not going to show you how I edge stitch that, but then I'm going to show you how I insert this into the apron now box. I have all of the strip done on one side. I even left the ends raw, like whatever. I'm not concerned about that. And I, if I had a bigger safety pin, I would use it, but I just have a little one. And this is how I'm going to snake it through here and then down here. And this trick also works like if an elastic or like uh, like a rope cord comes out of like pants, then this will work. So I'm just gonna put it in here, and then use the safety pen to inch it through. And then as you're doing it, just make sure that it lays flat because you don't want it to crinkle and turn while it's in here. You can fix it if it happens, but this will help. Let me get to the, the end because you also wanna make sure that it doesn't turn whenever it's in the neck part because that would feel weird when you're wearing it. I'll fast forward. So now I'm to the end. As you can see, it's flat and you just pull it. I would pull about half of it out, a little bit more than half, because then it's gonna go through the other end. Yes, and then just make sure that, see how I'm going like this? I just always want this to be towards the center as I start to put it in here. And now it's good to go. And then I'm just gonna snake it down the other end and I'll fast forward here. Okay, now I'm to the other end, and I am pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. Making sure, see I wanted to show this to you, making sure that the neck is good. And all I have left to do is to try this on, and then we have a finished apron. So now all I have left to do is to try it on, and see how cute it looks, okay? And then, then this neck adjusts, you can make it go up or down, depending on what's going on here. This is about where I want it. Ooh, look at the pocket. <laughs> what do you think, Helena? 
Um, I think it did, but I think it needs a little bit more faster. Well, yeah. Oh, it needs to be more fashionable? Well, like my other one? No, Hold no, on. no, 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 it's puppet fashion. I'm saying your kind of fashion. Yeah, that's it. Woo, like this? Yeah, work, that's it. Work, work, work. <laughs> <laughs> So yay, now you can make yourself this 20 minute apron that's easy, adjustable, will fluctuate as your weight goes up and down like mine does all the time. <laughs> and I made this for my frame and build. I am 6'3", about 225, 230 pounds. My waist is 36, 38. For the most part, this size is going to fit all grown-ups. But if you wanted to make tweaks to your own frame, if you are smaller or larger, feel free to do so. If you have any questions about how to do that, feel free to either email me or put something in the comments and then I'll help you out with the math. But you should be good to go to make this for yourself, for every member of the family, so you can get your cooking on and get your grilling on or just you want to lounge around the house in an apron. Have fun with it. <laughs> I accept you. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, get a laugh or a tip or a trick, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep it positive, y'all. This for domestic out.